the best there is, plain and simple. Well, I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence. And nobody can hang with my stuff. Just a, just a big, hairy American winning machine. If you ain't first, you're last. You know what I'm talking about? Hello, I'm Jensen. What's going on, everybody? So you guys have been asking for a tutorial video. So I'm gonna make a multiple part tutorial, teaching y'all how to swing. First part is gonna be learning how to do donuts. So that's what we're doing today. We got a little, little nice tight space. We're gonna, uh, yeah, teach you guys everything there is to know, how to set your settings up in the SRT pages and all that. If you're swinging a Hellcat or Dodge or something like that teach y'all what to do in tight spaces we're probably gonna go somewhere else do some wide donuts but yeah i'm gonna teach y'all a little something something stay tuned okay so you wanna hit the srt button of course put it in track now hold the traction button until it says off that's when you know the traction's off Another thing is you always want it in manual mode because in automatic mode when you're swinging when the RPMs go up it'll tell the car to shift so the car will shift when you don't want it to and that shit could cause you to crash or do something weird. So keep it in manual mode. You can click up and down on this. Don't worry about the paddles because the paddles are going to be spinning. You're not going to be able to tell which one's which. In your settings, pull up the gear so you can tell which gear you're in. So you're not in like six gear trying to do donuts and do some dumb shit. So, in like tight spaces like this, you're gonna wanna do like a brake stand first. You'll see. Okay, I'm gonna pause it real quick. So to do a brake stand, you have to apply as much pressure on the brake pedal as possible to stop the car, but not too much so the rear wheels won't spin. So do the brake stand. Hit the gas, get the RPMs up, get the wheels spinning, and then turn to either direction that you want to do donuts. And then once your car starts to slide, I'd say at least halfway, like 180, get ready to counter steer. And then you're going to counter steer, turn in, counter steer, just to be able to go into a circle. You can get more comfortable, which you uh, get more practice in, but this is this is the basic so far. Oh, was he thumbs up or flipping you off? I don't know. <laughs> but it don't matter. <laughs> oh, is he going with it? a little easier because you're on the left side of the car so you could tell how far away you are from a bunch of stuff but once you go to the right it's a little harder to tell what's going on on that side so put it in drive make sure you're in a low gear first put it in either first or second gear to start the donuts
I'll show you guys in a bigger area, the more counter steer, the wider you can go, or the more you turn the wheel, obviously, the more narrow you can go to do tight stuff like that. So let's go to the next spot so I can show y'all some of all right so this is a way bigger area i would recommend starting out with something like this if you can't find a giant parking lot with nothing else to practice in but in a big area like this you don't need to do a brake stand first especially when you have this much horsepower so give it gas turn in and then get ready to counter steer immediately so you can catch it and then start sliding and then try and continue the circle all the way around and you want to point your wheels in the direction you want to go. Keep that in mind. Okay, so that's the end of this video. That was part one. I showed you guys how to do donuts. I showed you guys how to set up your settings. I showed you how to do a brake stand. I showed you that you need to uh, point your wheels in the direction you want to go. So in part two, I'm going to teach everyone how to do figure eights. Stay tuned for part two. Like, subscribe, comment, tell your mom about it, all that stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Put on the brake, give it gas, turn the wheel, and then counter steer like I was saying. Figure eight. I'll show you guys how to do that in the next video.